it is 2021, a new year that comes after a very harsh one to say the least. 2020 was for sure not an easy time, not only for people, but for the whole planet as well. The sudden spread of the coronavirus sure changed our lives and affected it in ways that are indescribable. Most people found it difficult to cope with the changes that have happened and which have made us in a very morose, sad or boring mood. So with 2021 here, the world, so with 2021 here, the whole world is expecting some good things to happen or at least hoping for good things and praying for blessings. Some of us want to unveil what the future days and months hide for us. It is true that the future has always been scary for most of us because it is unknown. The human mind has always had these questions about what will happen next, what will the days bring, what circumstances will we will find ourselves enjoying or enduring, what demeanors and bearings are expected from us, what choices will we have to make. So many thorny questions that remain unanswered until the time of it to be. Questions about life and death, about couples and relationships, about kids and families, questions about job and opportunities, money, profits, losses, questions about health, sickness, well-being, death. And here some of us open doors to try to know what will be. Some can't walk out of the door or start their day without reading their daily horoscope. Some pay money to have personal readings on cards and tarot attempting to anticipate what will happen so that they might avoid it or correct it or get ready for it, whatever it is. Now seriously, are the pieces of information announced in such readings true? At times they might resonate to some being accurate, but are they really the truth? Is it the true knowledge? Or are they merely some coincidences understood by people the way they choose to? So where does the truth lie? From an Islamic point of view, Allah, our God, is the only all-knowing of the unknown. He knows it because He is the one making it. He is the one to know hence every single detail about it. More than this, He is the one with the might to alter and change it too. So Islam describes all those who say and pretend to have information of the future, liars. And what they do is called simply sorcery. There is no truth in horoscopes. There is no truth in tarot readings. There is no truth in gypsy coffee mug or whatever it is called. I know some people don't want to hear it or can't accept the fact that it is untrue. I know some people prefer to live in fantasy and they choose to think their ability to know the future will make somehow their lives easier or better. What should be said and made known to people of that kind is that knowing the future, even if it was possible, is not helping much in your present. How can knowing the day you're going to die or the day you'll have a health incident, or a car accident, or a divorce, or a breakup, or a miscarriage, or the loss of someone dear, and so on. How could these bad news ever let you enjoy your present time? Definitely, they would ruin every minute of it, filling it with anxiety and distress. Okay, you'll say life is not only sad incidents and shedding moments, yes, that is true, but then again, knowing all the good things beforehand will just ruin the beautiful feeling of surprise, of relief, and of genuine happiness. Getting to know the good things that will happen makes it already old and familiar, thus common and ordinary. Either ways, live life with how it presents itself to you, live the day, the moment, enjoy it or endure it. At the end of each of them, 
the wheel of fortune turns. There is no absolute sadness and no absolute happiness on earth. Those days are turning around, going each time to some of us so that we can taste both tastes, the bitter and the sweet. Bottom line, the past is past. The future is not here yet. You only own the hour you are at. And after all, those who pretend to know the unknown lie, even if they might be saying the truth. Let's look at what some of them are putting in the description boxes on some of the YouTube channels. So this one reads, It is a legal requirement that we include a disclaimer on this site. In accordance with the law in several countries, we must point out that all tarot readings given here are for entertainment purposes only, and no guarantee can be given as to the accuracy of a reading, the user responsible for his and her own life choices and decisions. Please use your own logic and intuition. These interpretations are just a possibility. Keep in mind that this reading is for a general audience. Well, I wonder what is this? And it is not a private reading geared just for you. If this message doesn't resonate with you, feel peaceful and find the one that does. <laughs> it means go look around until you find something you would love to hear. Because we don't have the truth. We just throw lies and go look for yourself which lie resonates with you. Um, if you like a private reading geared towards you and your situation, the information is coming right up. Private readings, as many cards as it take, in depth, just like you see on YouTube, but the way more cards. So she is plus telling you that Whatever you hear may or might not resonate with you. She's inviting you for a private reading. Take your money and to fool you somehow. Was that an innocent disclaimer? Look at what it reads carefully. That means simply they are playing around, joking. They are not serious, so please don't take them seriously. Why? Well, because no one knows. At least this person had decency to to admit it, even if it's in a hidden way. So, your future reads as follows. And you don't need to know neither the time, nor the day, nor the month you were born in. All you have to do is have faith. Enough faith to embrace whatever will be. It's sweet and bitter. It's good and bad, it's smiles and tears, it's ups and downs, it's a beauty and ugliness. Life wouldn't be life if it kept going on one steady and changeable track. Well, by the way, that's called death. Enjoy who you are, make your own choices, live up to what you dream of. Stay blessed.